Now, welcome back, everybody, to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. You know, the flight simulator basically changed the whole world of flight simulation one and a half years ago. I mean, look at this right here. What we can say is that definitely Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, at least visually, is pretty much close to perfection. Here we are flying above the Alpine Mountains down here at Innsbruck Airport. And well, it, it just looks absolutely beautiful. You know, we have satellite scenery worldwide. We have nice 3D buildings that are created by an AI so that they look like real life and well let me just say the flight simulator is very very good at the scenery in general but of course we humans always find stuff to complain about you know stuff to improve and so we did with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Of course, it isn't all too extremely perfect. It's not flawless, definitely. You know, over the past years, we found some interesting weird bugs in the scenery, some artifacts that are a little bit weird. And yes, there is a little bit of a weak point in the scenery of the Flight Simulator, and that is the service that it's from. Yeah, right? Because the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uses Bing Maps. Yes, yeah, everybody, Bing Maps, which is probably a service you guys have never used. The thing is, Bing is, of course, you know, owned by Microsoft. This is, by the way, what the maps look like. Very weird. I've never seen that in my entire life ever. But yes, uh, Bing Maps actually exists, and there is also, as you can see, an aerial view, which, as you might already know, well, Microsoft uses. And well, let me just say the Bing Map service isn't all too great. I mean, only here, for, you know, cruising across Germany with a map system, we can tell there are clouds here in the scenery it isn't all too perfect now those are of course visible in the flight simulator as well since again we're using the same imagery i guess and yeah even here near innsbruck we also have some weird artifacts sometimes i mean i mean something i found very interesting is this right here can, can you tell that this little white stripe what this basically is is a contrail artifact which basically means that a you know a plane was flying through the skies and the contrails of the plane were caught in the little scenery and this is what that looks like you know just some weird stuff and in general bing maps is known to be a little bit outdated you know here's for example bing imagery of a little lake and this is what it looks like in google which you know of course there's a bit, a bit of a difference and also here in quality jesus christ there's snow here yeah that's not all too perfect so yes everybody not all too long ago a very very genius developer had the idea you know what why don't we you know use the google service instead of the bing service to get google maps scenery and well what has recently been the most trending add-on at 73,000 downloads has been this one. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Google Map Replacement. A very, very simple free add-on that has a very, very good reputation. You guys really wanted me to make a video about this. It's very well updated, very well configured. All you have to do is download this right here and then you have an installer. When you install it, <coughs> this shows up. Oh, very, very easy. All you have to do to use Google Maps for your flight simulator is press this button. Inject Google Maps. Here we go. Yes. And now that's good. Server check is all running. So yes, everybody, let's go ahead and now run this flight simulator and actually find out whether this interesting add-on really is such an essential as many people are actually claiming it to be. You know, before we hop into the flight simulator, we can actually look at some, you know, side-by-side -side comparison videos. And I mean, look at this right here. Bing Maps here. What the Google Maps scenery does definitely is very much are known for is its clearer quality. I mean, you can definitely tell that here as well. Here we have a very good other example here of a road here. I mean, you can not even properly tell that this is a road here in the Bing, but here in Google, this looks much better. And what is especially standing out here in the video, Sweet Viver, is definitely the color, right? This is what's been very much, you know, criticized with the Bing maps that they put some interesting filter on, you know, a bit of a greenish blue. You may, we can actually see a very, very good example here from blue. Luna. Right with the Bing scenery, they try to make it look a little bit more, I guess, cinematic. You know, with this interesting filter right here. A lot of people are saying that well, Google is a little bit more, you know, true to life with its color representation. Like, really, even you know, between these two images right here, there's clearly a big difference. And I like, I like Google more here in this case. Now let's go ahead and spawn here near Innsbruck again, where we have this weird white stripe, which is still, I guess, showing up. But once we go actually closer, we can see it disappearing because the, I guess, the Google scenery then kicks in. I don't really know. But anyway.
anyway, let's go ahead and spawn in here again. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see if Google looks any better. And first of all, it does look very different, okay? Yes, we can definitely see the same effect that we could see in the side-by-side -side comparison videos. You know, it looks a little bit less vibrant, the Google thing. Looks definitely different, but uh, I guess more realistic, though. Even though we actually we do have some discolorations right here in the Google scenery as well. Hmm, yeah, not, not sure. Maybe this is only a, an exception. But here we go. We do have to say, I mean, it looks a little bit uglier, but I guess reality is just a little bit ugly. It's basically, it's a de-photoshopping a model's face. So that's interesting. But I think we'll be able to see a little bit of an even bigger difference in some more rural areas. Like, how about, you know, let's try the Caribbean right here, somewhere here. Le Abim. Good. I mean, we don't have, we don't have a side by side comparison, but this looks very good. Again, very much how real life would look like. Even though I can see again some discolorations here in the Google scenery, it's not particularly perfect. Oh, I, oh, I like this very much here. What this looks like, like the watercolors are now just you know how they probably look like in real life. I like this one. And when we get a little bit close to the ground, we would. I mean, again, if we had a side by side comparison, see a bit of a bigger difference. I mean, definitely the image is a lot clearer. So let's maybe go to the airport, see what that looks like up close. Again, we are pretty much here in the middle of nowhere in the Caribbean with no scenery or anything installed or anything like that. Only the new Google scenery, but we can still see very clear image here of the ground. I, I, you know, this is good. I like this one. All right, here's an interesting report. There are a few areas that look weird on Google Maps. A good example is the whole sea island area around. All right, let's try to visit this weird place here. All righty, so welcome to the ocean. Why is the ocean purple? Interesting. All right, this is this is this is actually very odd here. My God, there are some other islands here though. My God, I mean there are some other places here though. There are some. This is an island here. It's just plain white. Great. I mean it does show up a little bit once we go closer. That's fine. It's just very very bright. Great. But I think the reason behind that, I mean, I visited this place before installing, you know, the scenery. The, the theory behind this whole part of the Pacific Ocean being broken is that there are some military airfields here from China, and of course, those are mostly censored in most flight simulators. Now, something else that people have been suspecting about this add-on, by the way, that I wanted to mention is that there apparently are no waves, but here you can see, yes, wave animation is still there, even though we have installed the Google scenery, so no problem behind that. So yeah, guys, that is Bing Maps versus Google Maps. I, I can definitely say that this add-on is Swiss Air 1 approved. You should probably get it, especially, again, if you want to fly around, um, you know, interesting places. This looks very good. And again, it's very much free. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British User One, Saturn Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.